Meet Jim. I don't know if that's his real name, but it's what I've decided to call him. Jim is a motorsport engineer, and it's his job to tell his racing driver, This is how you can improve. Over. But there's a problem. Jim has never driven a racing car before, so how does he know where the lap time is? Well, the short answer is the data that the car records when on track, otherwise known as telemetry. From telemetry, you can see differences in the way one driver controls the car to another. The long answer to where Jim can see the lap time, well, that's why you're here, isn't it? So let's take a look at how to read telemetry. As a sim racer, you're rather limited to telemetry programs that are available to you. There are some that host the old school lines on a graph, but that could mean anything. No, we need something more 21st century. We need something that everybody from the newbie to the professional can understand and apply to their driving. The answer? Track Titan. When you've driven a few laps, you can hop onto Track Titan and you're greeted by an overview of your session and your fastest lap. Rather than having the telemetry all in one lump as other programs do, the data is broken down into segments and can make it more manageable and easier to understand. So this session is Brands Hatch on Assetto Corsa Competizione. We can see there is time to be gained here at Turn 1, Paddock Hill Bend, and by clicking on the number, the segment data is now visible. So when looking at telemetry, there are five things to be aware of. Throttle, braking, racing line, speed, and gears. So let's break them down and we'll start with throttle. Clicking the throttle tab, we are greeted with a graph. It's actually fairly simple to understand as for throttle, the horizontal x-axis is distance and the vertical y-axis is pedal position. So in this example, we can see the driver went to around 50% throttle, held for a second before then going to full pressure. Now you may notice that while I'm talking about this orange line, there is a blue line here too. This is our reference lap data, so you can compare your lap to someone else's. Track Titan will default on the official lap, but you can choose community times, friends with the search feature, or simply just your theoretical best. This is the basis of where we can start to improve. So we can see the blue driver stays on the throttle longer and is quicker to full pressure. We, on the other hand, have this gradual incline of throttle pressure, which lifts the nose of the car and hinders exit speed by having to wait for full throttle. This is usually caused when braking too early, which, as we can see from the throttle drop-off, is the case in this scenario. Our learnings from this is that we should stay on the throttle longer, come back on the throttle later and quicker. This gives a good exit down the hill and away from the corner. Next up, braking. In this instance, the horizontal x-axis is distance and the vertical y-axis is pressure. So, the sharp incline on the graph means the driver very quickly got to full brake pressure. Similarly, if this line is shown at the top of the graph, then the driver is applying full braking pressure for an extended period of time. Coming off the brakes quickly, we'll see a sharp decline in the graph, whereas trail braking will see a gradual descent instead. Same as the throttle, we have our reference lap data here, and we can see the blue driver brakes later than we do, and with more pressure. This means the blue driver can brake for less time and take the apex faster. So we can brake later, harder, and come off the brakes to gain speed through Paddock Hill. Now let's look at racing lines. To understand the racing line data fully, you need to review it alongside other data such as speed and difference to reference because a line on an image means nothing until you know the speed that can be carried through each approach. In this instance, we can see that the blue driver carries a more shallow entry into the corner to then give a wider exit. On face value, our line looks optimal for corner exit because of the late apex. However, by reviewing the speed tab, we can see that to achieve a later apex in a controlled manner, our approach scrubs off too much speed. So our line is slower as it requires a suboptimal approach to the corner compared to the blue driver. Now that we've learned about throttle, braking and racing lines, we can look into apex and exit speed. As you can see here, the blue driver's minimum speed is 152 km per hour at the apex, whereas we drop to 138 km per hour before the apex. Hitting the minimum speed before the apex means you have slowed down too much, and if we look at the exit speed, the blue driver is 4 km per hour faster than we are. We can also see there is no major difference in the steering, and both approaches are using the same gear for the corner. As we've already learned, the orange driver is on the brake pedal too soon, which delays getting on the throttle and means more time spent at minimum speed. You will have to change your approach for different corners, as what works here would not work at a chicane, for example. 
So looking at the data needn't be difficult and after reviewing all of this, Jim can come back to you and explain where you're losing time and on the difference to reference tab, our approach through Paddockill Bend is almost six tenths of a second slower than the reference lap. That's quite a big difference, but now we understand why. Our orange data shows we're too early on the brakes, too early back on the throttle and going too wide. Each one in itself loses time, so by fixing the three mistakes, we can gain that time back and are more competitive as a result. Don't forget, you can sign up to track Titan for free and analyze your own data. You won't need Jim though, because our intelligent AI will give you pointers on where you're losing time and how to fix your mistakes. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did enjoy it, please drop us a like. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button? It really makes a difference. So until next time, drive safely and race with respect.